everyone. Before I get to the story, I just want to share with you something that someone sent to me today. I am getting tired of being part of a major historical event, and I know I'm feeling that way. And truly, guys, if you're journal, I hope you are, because this is really an unbelievable time. I just want to share something personal with you. I um, I have a daughter who's a nurse, and here she is suited up when she was um, screening uh, patients for COVID-19. And then I also have a sister. Here she is. And both of them have been working hard. And um, for me, I've just been isolating in my home, quarantining, and of course I wear my mask whenever I go out. It is a difficult time, but you know, we're getting through it. So um, take care, and I so look forward to the day when I see you. Okay, today's read as an inspirational biography. Bessie Coleman, what a great story. And um, amazing. I hope you enjoy it. And at the end, her experience is similar to a couple other African-American folks that I want to talk about. So I hope you enjoy. Bessie Coleman, written by Riley Flynn, read by Miss Moody. Meet Bessie. Bessie Coleman was a famous pilot. She was the first African-American woman to earn a pilot's license. Bessie worked hard to make her dreams come true. Women Picking Cotton, around 1920, 1892, born in Texas. Young Bessie was born in Texas in 1892. Her family was poor. Bessie started working when she was very young. She picked cotton and washed clothes. Bessie wanted a more exciting life. Bessie and her mother worked to save money. They wanted Bessie to get an education. In 1910, Bessie went to college in Oklahoma. She read about pilots and airplanes. She became interested in flying. As an adult, flight schools in the United States wouldn't teach African-American women. Bessie did not give up. She learned to speak French. In 1920, she found a flight school in France that would teach her. Bessie earned her pilot's license in 1921. She became the first African-American woman to do so. When Bessie went to back to the United States, she was famous. Even though she was famous, Bessie could not find a job. Bessie wanted to open a flight school for African-Americans, but she needed money. She decided she would learn to be a stunt pilot. Later years, Betsy went back to France for three months. She studied how to be a stunt pilot. She started performing stunts in 1922. Bessie began earning money to open a flight school. Sadly, Bessie was never able to open her school. She died in 1926 after falling out of her plane. Then in 1929, a flight school opened for African Americans in California. The school was named after Bessie. Bessie worked hard to become the first African American woman pilot. The way Bessie followed her dreams still inspires people today. Bessie Coleman was not the first African-American ever to leave the United States and go to France to fulfill her dreams. Henry Osawa Tanner was a um, painter in America and he did face discrimination so um, his paintings were mostly um, religious in nature and he went to France and that's where he found international acclaim. Josephine Baker, what a life she led. She was an entertainer, and um, she faced discrimination here in the United States, not respected. So she went to France, and she became an international star. 